bunch of mangrove snapper. We got ended up with 13 mangrove snapper and one sheep's head. It's time to clean up. And uh, Ireland usually helps me do a little bit of catch and, uh, catch and clean here. I usually take it off and skin it. And uh, I'll show you a little bit of that. And then she takes rib bones and pin bones out. And then she's going to be doing one on her own today. So let's see how that goes. All right, we're going to do a little tutorial with her to see how she does on her first clip. Fish plane. Nope, more angle this way. It's easier to go this way oh. from this direction. Okay. And cut. Make sure you stay up close right here. Mm -hmm. That's where the good part is. No, a little too high. There you go. Watch that. Don't slip with your fingers. Hold. I usually pinch down right here. I'm right handed. Yeah, well, it might be a little tougher. Watch your thumb. Push a little harder, it'll go. There you go. Now, once you did you feel it go across that bone right down there? Yeah. All right. Nice. Then you don't just turn it. No, nope, never cut towards your hands. You gotta cut the opposite direction. I'm right-handed. Yeah, one side's always easier to clean than the other side is. But you don't poke yourself. Get a good just, grip. Just push down on it right on the gill. Yep. You're gonna sl don't slip. I'm trying. You're gonna poke this finger. You're going. There you go. You want to stay. No, go a little bit lower. We're going to get along that fin. Get in there. What you can do... Can I hold them like this? You can start like this too. Oh. And just kind of go that way. Yeah, that might be easier for me. Then you can get underneath a little bit and work it this way. Okay. Yeah, that might be easier. Then I can see what I'm doing. Just stay right against this back side. About getting the most of the meat you can. Careful with your fingers. Watch your fingers. Push. There you go. Now, always keep it tilted kind of down so it stays right along that backbone. Yep, stop about right in there. Flip the knife. Get your finger, you can get your thumb down inside there after you get right forward a little bit. Yep, your finger. And then keep that down okay. and go all the way back straight up. No, just. Slide it a little bit. There you go. That knife's not as long as this other one. Here you go. Push it. <laughs> it's harder with that one. Here, you use this one. Put that in there. Throw it back right there. Just smack it once. There you go. Kind of like that. I'll get that right now. There you go, you're just going right through those bones. Oh, that's tough. Hit it. <laughs> How do you do Everybody needs to learn their own way. This may <laughs> not be her way. We'll see. Goodness. Okay. Spin him around. Flop it down. Hey, you got most of it. You left one little chunk right through there, but that's not bad. You did pretty good. Okay. If you just started slicing down earlier there, it probably would have been good. You'll feel it. Yep, keep it dangled down. If you need to, you can work here a little bit more like this. Yeah. Work down a little more. Just keep sliding through. There you go. Look at that. You got all the meat off of there. Left all the bloodline in it. Now just cut off your pen bones and your ribcage again. Get it all out. Yeah. Alright, throw it over there and we'll... These little tables work really well if you don't have a dock to go clean your fish off of. Did I take that out? Nope, leave it. Flip it to the other side. You can hook hose up to it. Amazon has them. They're only like 50 bucks, I think, maybe, or something like that. Like this? Like I do mine, yeah, but yeah, like that. Because you want to be always this direction with it. Watch your thumb. There you go. Okay. There you go, you're through. Watch, don't poke this finger. It's all about knife skills. Practice safety, safety first.
keep it down, keep it angled down. There you go. If it gets really hard, and then, it, then you know you're hitting the bone. Going a little deep. It's mm -hmm. fine. Just keep going. Oh, I'm gonna tear through. Can you go back to this one? Yep, lift that piece up. It's hard to keep it in a spot. Yeah, but you just gotta use your, you gotta kind of like pin it like that and then you can slide right up. Just gotta remember where the end of that knife is. There you go. That was a little... He's, he's looking pretty rough. Ooh, we could take his stomach apart and see what all's in there. Ew, that's disgusting. Hey, there's a, there's a fish in there. We're going to look at that. Oh, what in the world? Heck yeah, we're going to check that thing out. <laughs> oh my god. Here, finish getting that piece off of there. That's a big old something in there. <laughs> okay. We ain't done one of these dissection classes yet. We're getting ready to today. Science class. You're not going anywhere with that. You didn't keep your knife down. Just... Look at all the meat you left up there. I know. Gonna need some more practicing. Meanwhile, we're gonna see what is in this thing. Ew! Feels like a big shrimp oh, or something. Dude. Hey, there it's coming out. Oh, look at all them, Look at all them shrimps oh he's been eating. Oh. That's probably the one Cindy lost to it. <laughs> that might be the one Garth lost to it. <laughs> of course, the one I caught it with. Look at them, all them shrimps. Oh my God. And that's what we was using for bait. That's what they're eating on out there. A little gruesome, but it's cool. Wow. All right, now we're gonna get back to me cleaning a couple more here. Get him out of the cooler. If you rinse them off a little bit, help get some of the slime off of them, that makes it a little bit easier. You just keep going, going, going. I think I just have more trouble keeping it in place. As soon as it gets through, you just gotta watch where your fingers is at. Flip them over. Yeah, I just can't get a good grip. Oh, crappers. I don't like it when that happens because that's a pain to get started again to me. Maybe if I use my, like the fishing gloves I have. Maybe that would help. There we go. A lot of people like to just work down just a little bit at a time and just kind of keep peeling back, working off the rib cage. I don't mess with it. I got my helper here cleaning with me. It <laughs> just goes super fast. Nice and easy. We'll be back to you. GoPro, stop recording. Got the last two. We got this snapper. We got one more after this one. The sheep's head. You just look at it. You can just fall right down that back line, backbone. Chop through that rib cage. Takes all the meat off real nice. Oh, he's hiding a little piece of shrimp right there. Look at that. He says, yeah, me, gimme. I don't know how many other people are fortunate enough to keep taking their kids fishing with them, but you should as much as you can. And then hopefully they'll want to help clean fish too. And then eventually I can clean the boat. Well, she's doing all the fish cleaning, and I'd be pretty well set.
And if you get them, when you're getting them where you can almost see through that thing, you did a dang good job of getting him done. And we got Mr. Sheepsy Head. He's a big one. What did he end up being? He's 16, 17. He's right at 16. Pretty good sized sheep's head for in the bay. Now these little bad boys got a huge rib cage on them. Come on. We've got monster scales. We're gonna call that pretty close right there. Okay, got the bigger knife out for him. They're so broad, ain't much of a tail to them. Once it gets down to there, it's done. Yeah, these ribs are a lot harder. We're going to cut down him. Full of eggs. So let's slide back to you there. That's all rib cage right there. Crazy. Now you take these out, you're gonna feel these bones a lot more. What is that? It's a bunch of eggs. Now this meat feels different. Yep. tail on that one. Nice piece. You don't do much rib cage messing with this one. Kind of going to get as I go on this one. Well, oh, look at that. Maybe a little, there's some bone up and through here. I can feel that one. Mm -hmm. So, with that one being the way it is, just do it yep, that'll take care of it. Hey, everybody, if you like what you see, hit the like and subscribe button. Take your kid fishing, take a nephew with you fishing, take a niece with you fishing, take somebody out fishing. They'll enjoy it. You have a good day. Peace out. GoPro, stop recording.